Hello. Welcome to the uh, surviving week one of our virtual live school. Um, I'm surprised any of, our, any of us have any hair left. This has been kind of a trying week, but we certainly appreciate all the um, support and help you parents have given us and being there and um, giving us suggestions and ideas and also encouragement. We've all needed that. This has been a brave new world. One thing we are finding is we're not seeing kids read very much. Or if they're, they're reading, they're not turning in their reading responses. So we're probably going to be holding special reading classes for kids who haven't turned in their reading responses. That will probably start next week. Um, basically, um, this the reading award, reading, we're also going to send out reading awards this, this uh, Wednesday. So any students have, who have done their reading responses and turned them in, they will get a special reading award. And you'll be surprised how we deliver some of these. We come up to some creative ways. Um, one thing I want to tell you all, cameras have to be on when students are doing their online courses. We cannot monitor that. If they turn it off, we've had some students turn them off and just walk off and leave for the, for the class. So the cameras have to be on, and that is really critical. We can deal with the microphones and turn them on and off, but the cameras, we can't do anything about cameras. Also, their whiteboards, the little whiteboards need to be there, and if they don't have whiteboards, we're, we've got some we're going to be giving out to them soon. And of course, a dry erase marker in our, in our eraser of some sort. The biggest challenge I think we're having right now with our virtual school is turning work in. Uh, the way that's going to be preferred is using your iPhone. Of course, you can take a, the students can take a picture, you can take a picture of the, their work they've done. But um, Mr. Cole, our technology guru, has put together a wonderful video for us. She's put posted on Facebook as well as our website under Parent Resources that will tell you how to take a picture of your student's work, or your child's work, and then you can scan it and make it a PDF so that the picture will not be the size of your thumbnail. It will be the size of a regular piece of paper. So take a look at that. She, she makes wonderful videos and is very clear about how to do things. That's only for an iPhone. Right now, I don't, I don't have an Android. Sorry, that's me behind the camera. <laughs> I don't have an Android, so um, if anybody has any good ideas on how to get Android scanning, uh, let us know. Yeah, we can, we can also touch base with Mr. Ross. I bet he could help us make a video of that. Um, but if you can scan the work to your teachers or bring it by, that's, that's probably your least... Um, easy thing to do but scan the work to the teacher so we can see what they're doing that's one thing that's kind of a handicap of doing our virtual learning because we can't see the students like we can when we're in the classroom um, also I've left materials for certain students out on the green picnic table to the left of the office um, so feel free to come by and get those it's supposed to rain I think Sunday morning but they're just going to be sitting out there with your child's name on the material so all you have to do is grab them and go and um, that on um, the green round picnic table that's sitting there um, now that we have our academic classes going pretty well I feel like the teachers have worked all kinds of hours and done all kinds of things to get things going for your students we're going to start looking at some fun stuff, some games, maybe some art. Miss Kitty might do a book uh, book talk for certain groups. So we maybe I'm going to talk to Miss Kim about doing some science, a science thing. So we're, we've got some things in mind because I know I know this type of online learning is difficult. We we totally get it. We're going now that we've got some of the basics down. Maybe we can start adding some fun stuff. So don't despair. Uh, we'll we'll probably get some of those things launched next week. And then we're going to have spring break, uh, the regular time, and of course we're going to be closed until April the 24th, as asked by the governor. We'll put that out on the Facebook and our, our website so you all see it. But whatever game, whatever the state's doing, games that Hawk County are doing, you can, that's what we're going to follow those same leads. So, any ideas you have of how we can make this better or things that you like we're doing, please, please give us some feedback. We would love to... Um, improve our product and also we need some encouragement to know things things that some of the things we're doing right would be we'd love to hear from you either way but if you have some ideas feel free to let us know all right y'all have a uh, good week wash your hands and stay safe bye-bye